You want to know the importance of good work boots? Stay tuned, that's coming right up. We're lucky we got a close parking spot, so I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, Limpy limps a lot here. Um, we're going into the Mark's Work Warehouse. Uh, behind me here, you can see, uh, that's where I get the boots. So um, I'll show you the different kinds they have and whatnot, and what you should look for uh, in a boot for commercial construction. So residential, industrial, commercial, all has different rules. So I'll tell you what you need for commercial construction. First of all, this door is awesome. It's got everything for uh, work apparel um, and like for camping and hiking and things like that too. It's a good, it's a good spot. But yeah, it's got tons of stuff. Oh, look. <laughs> I've been caught dead. See all the work we're behind me. Lots of boots for hiking and stuff like that. I show you the selection for you know hiking boots. But yeah, I'm not gonna go down the dress shoe one, but yeah. Oh, I love morels, those are my favorite. residential guys you can see they got steel toe shoes right for residential guys we can't get away with that kind of stuff but if I could I would trust me so uh, here's our boots uh, unfortunately yeah see all these here are you know they're the short heel so we can't wear these in, in commercial so make sure you're aware of that okay they, they must have oh, I love these Helly Hansen Helly Hansen those are sick um, okay, so as far as boots go, yeah, these you can't wear in commercial, they're not high enough heels, so uh, stick with the 8 inch heel because then you can get on any site, uh, industrial included, um, it's, you're buying boots, you, you know what, the more protection you have, the better anyway, so things to look for are the, are the tags. In Canada here, we need this uh, green tag, uh, Canadian Safety Association, and the, the orange tag. Right, so we need those two tags, and then yeah, ooh, those are nice boots actually. I might look at those ones. So we got those Dakotas here. Actually, I was looking at these ones online. I think those are a good price too. I might I might take a peek at those. So you have to think, okay, because I'm not, I'm back on back in dirt, so I won't be. Uh, I don't need a heavy tread, right? Like uh, for for what, working on dirt, I'm back on concrete. So and I imagine I'm going to be on concrete for a uh, good 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 long time uh, but yeah you can see you got the leather I, I, I like the leather look I don't uh, generally go with the black ones but yeah so you get these cheaper boots uh, you can get them as low as $129 uh, I would just I would definitely recommend getting extra soles with these um, but uh, yeah so I usually start shopping at the $200 mark so these are looking sweet though right so i don't know what these are but uh, dakota anti-slip that's good that's really good uh tarantulas am i uh, i might look into something like that but i like these ones up here though there was a pair yeah these ones right here this is the drywalling right that we do i think that this extra t this toe protection would be good really good for us yeah I like this one and it's got a nice tread so yeah you just gotta make sure they fit you right like I have a wide a big wide foot so you know yeah, these are for definitely you know outdoor these you got these ones here for welders right so the sparks won't don't burn off their uh, shoelaces and stuff right so those are for welders <laughs> what these tongues here are for but uh yeah so up to the 259 i wonder if so yeah it would probably be these boots i'm looking at then these ones right here welted work boot or these ones right, right here 
metal free ooh metal free so composite toe yep so yeah that's that's actually uh with the metal toes the way they break they can cut your toes off so those composites toes take take that takes that risk away but uh yeah you can take a look there's other brands down in the aisles for different things right like <laughs> right so it's definitely a, uh definitely for you know plumbers or whatnot right somebody who's gonna be you know getting into the water right and the electricity type thing electricians and plumbers type things oh what no way Helly Hansen boots dudes oh I might have to bet I might have to go with the Helly Hansons Ooh, look at the Helly Hansons guys oh look at it's got a flat uh, heel for indoors Oh man, I might have to do that. I might have to go Ellie Edson, guys. I'm gonna try those on. Oh yeah, here's the caterpillar one that I was looking at. I don't know if they were gonna be too heavy or not. Hmm. type boots. So when you're looking for boots, there's a lot of selections, right? Like even these rain boots are really great for when you're doing concrete guys. Like uh, when you work for a general contractor, you always, almost always need to have a pair of rubbers uh, with you. So you have, you'll have a, get a pair of rubbers and, uh, and work boots uh, for concrete and rain days. So yeah, you can see them. These are the shorter ones here, more shorter ones. But yeah, like I said, you can't get these. You can't use them. It's this here. So yeah, not a bad boot for 159, 189. Um, but yeah, I get more short heels. Really handsome, eh? <laughs> All right, so let's try on those two boots. I'm gonna go try on the Heli Hansons. And uh, those scarves are nice too, right? Eh? Hmm. Okay, I might have to try on those ones too. Cats, even though they're really nice, I just, yeah, I don't need a heavy boot like that because, I, like I said, I'm, I'm I'm working inside now. So this is this is might be a, re a really good answer actually. Okay, so the hell. Okay, so we'll come down to two pairs of Dakotas and uh, at a lot cheaper than I expected too. Holy cow, I'm very impressed with the price. See, that's what we're trying to avoid. Cool. I'm pretty sure I found my boots so listen this is the thing when buying boots I recommend trying on as many pairs as you want because they just you'll find the pair that just clicks you'll it'll just feel right and that's why like 
<sighs> they, they're always kind of coming out with tweaking the brand so i never stick with just one brand um i just come here and i and i know the brands that i like and, and i've been kind of sticking with a certain line and that's why it only took me two tries but if it's your first time buying new construction boots try them all try them all on and see what fits what is the most comfortable just follow the rules keep them uh, never buy a boot that's less than eight inches okay and it has to have those two tags simple as that right um i'm gonna also be getting extra soles for these so it'll also beef up uh help with the shins so but yeah i've been walking around walk around in them a little bit get the feel for them don't forget you're in, you're living in these things for eight hours a day six days or five days a week at minimum right so 40 hours a week minimum right uh you're gonna be in these in these uh working your tail off right working hard physical job and so you gotta make sure they're the right fit they're the right ones but yeah so far so good these are really good actually i didn't see any other ones i wanted to try yeah and these these are priced really good too wow i'm very happy with the price Yeah, there's no other, there's no other boot that I wanted to try. So yeah, I'm decided to go with the. Uh, it came down to the this one here with the funky toe or the, the these classic edition. So CTCP injected. So the men's 8410, eight inch CTCP injected work boot. And here's the specifications. That is a great price. That is a really great price. <laughs> So yeah, you, <clears throat> you basically just want to make sure they have good padding here in the tongue and you'll feel it once your foot slides in, you'll feel it hug your foot, right? So you got to be careful. There's what people have wide feet and thin feet. So you want your boots to be snug. You don't want them to be loose because that's where the problems happen, right? So uh, there's lots of padding here in the back. So there's tons of support. Uh, this nice stiff leather is always really nice. So I got leather, uh, I got treatment at home, we'll spray it, and um, that's that. But yeah, there's, there's a ton, metal free, eh? I like that, they're actually really nice and light. Um, yeah, this will be a good boot for sure. But yeah, just make sure you got lots of padding and, and then your foot just has to feel right. You know? you'll, you'll know, you'll know when you got the right pair. Just keep them in thin those specs. These Timberlands, I forgot. I missed these, darn it. But, um, yeah, they're, see, look at these boots here, for example. These, these are for iron workers, okay? For guys hanging the structural steel. Um, this is so they can walk on, on the, on the beams and, uh, steel. Uh, so you got the flat foot, right? This is actually a popular boot, too, in the drywall trade as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've never tried them. And I don't know how much they cost either. All right, if you're new to Chris Conkle Vlogs, make sure you subscribe right down below and hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss when I go live every Sunday and throughout the week. YouTube thinks you might like this video right there, so give it a watch. I put another playlist down below there for you. This is Chris, everyone. Bye for now.